Hey everyone, it's Leonie Anderson here and I am taking over One Young World's Instagram Live to talk to Leanne about how we are coping during lockdown. Everybody's trying to promote being super productive and, you know, figuring out ways to improve yourself during this time. So I thought it'd be really great to sit down with Leanne and just have a little chat. So I'm going to try and add her in now. Hey. There she is. Yeah. Hello. How have things been for you? I've been all right. Um, yeah, I mean, this is something that I didn't think we'd ever see in our life, in our lifetime. It's, not admit, it's Honestly, it's so crazy. But yeah, I feel like I'm just trying to get the routine together every day and try and make things as normal as I possibly can. But yeah, it's been a bit of a struggle. Like, I have up and down days. How yeah, I feel like for me, in the very beginning, I obviously I knew it was serious, but I thought it was going to be like mm, two weeks then or maybe like a week and then we're going to get back mm. to normal. So I was like keeping really optimistic. But then as all my plans and stuff and all my jobs started getting cancelled, I was like, what's going on? I know. Like actually, what is going on? And it started getting a little bit mad for me, I can't lie. But now I've I think that one of the most important things to do was establish a routine for myself yep. Yep. and just figure out ways to adapt to this very unusual time. So I guess we should start off by asking you, um, what has this, what has this whole situation um, or how has it impacted your mental health? Oh, um, yeah, as I said, I think I have up and down days. Um, I think the thing that I've struggled with the most is always having to be on social media and mm. I can find that quite a toxic place anyway and yeah being home, yeah I'm not working I'm not um like my days aren't extremely busy so like everything we're doing now promo wise is through obviously social media and stuff um and like the kind of need to always be relevant and posting all the time and um like followers and likes and things like that and I think that's kind of taken yep. its toll a little bit for me um yeah so I guess it's about finding the balance really which is I think everyone is yeah. so important for everyone to do that I think yeah I think so as well and as you said we're just spending so much more time on our phones and I find that the social media can be so toxic and oh. you just kind of can't help it though you end up just spending so much more time on there literally because you feel like what else am I doing but I'm trying my best now to do whatever I can to minimize my time on social media because it is too much of a toxic place and everyone has so much time on their hands and not everybody is on social media trying to spread love and positivity unfortunately so the the toxic stuff that we see it kind of I don't know it feels even more magnified at this yeah, period of time yeah, yeah. and it's harder to ignore mm. and it's just I feel like it's a massive pressure it's just not yeah. a great setup to be having to create content all the time at home. So yeah. I've definitely been feeling yeah. the pressure to figure out un unique and creative ways to keep mm -hmm. up with posting. But like some days I just can't be bothered. I can't be yeah. bothered. I but that's okay. That is yeah, exactly. It is exactly. all about balance. And if you literally want to do nothing all day, watch TV, in your scruffs, no makeup, then that is fine. And exactly yeah, I think exactly it's about making it not a pressure because it doesn't have to be I feel like at the beginning everyone was really pushing this whole yeah we have to be super productive and we yeah. should start let's all start businesses during this time and let's do this mm -hmm. and do that but and that's all well and good and that's a really positive attitude to have at this time however it's not the same for everybody and it's, it's everyone's going to cope with this time very differently and i exactly. think it's really unfair for everyone to be acting like if you're not working or trying to do something that brings you out of lockdown in a, a better position that you're lazy or you're unproductive when it's just that we are in a pandemic people okay mm -hmm. we are in a pandemic exactly so it's okay <laughs> yeah i have to just throw some fans <laughs> and drama into it because i need people to understand that it's it's all right, right. it's all right mm -hmm. for just trying to deal with this one day at a time we're both female business owners and entrepreneurs here so exactly. tell me how um covid has affected your business oh so yeah with inner seashell everything's obviously having to be pushed back and um, we have new designs coming out but 
obviously I think with smaller businesses it's going to affect us more um, yeah. and obviously getting new stock is just everything's just long right now but, no trust me um, trust me what can we do everyone is in the same position like we've just exactly. kind of had to go with it right exactly I, I feel like every business owner is just going through it yeah and people yeah. assume that just because we have a following that it's easier for us or that we have this huge team or whatever the case may be when in reality these are our brands that we put so much of our hard work into and these are our babies and we work so hard on them so to to have any sort of delays due to this time is obviously super challenging for us. Mm -hmm. And I want people to understand that we're going through the exact same things that any small business is going through. Don't assume that just because, you know, you have such a huge following and you're so hugely successful that our brands are now automatically just fine. We're still going through so many hard things at this time as well. Yeah. And that's, you know, with our business and with our mental as well. So I guess yeah. as well, one thing that I'm excited for though, when quarantine is over is just the freedom to see my friends again yes. oh my and God. just be yes. able to do you know what I mean like that's what I'm missing and my dad at the moment he's not well but I can't see him because obviously like the social yeah. distancing rules and stuff so it's been really difficult because this is a time when I should be spending the most time with my dad but oh. I haven't been able to yeah and FaceTime and stuff is just not enough so yeah I can't wait for it to be over just so that me and my brothers my I have two little brothers as well who are twins um so that we can spend more time with my dad you know so yeah this that's what I'm most yeah. looking forward to it is crazy. Like, I feel like I haven't seen my family in so long. Like, it's so weird. Like, it's just not normal, is it? It's, yeah, it's, yeah, and the thing is, you, you nice. don't even realise. You take for granted, though. You take it for granted, yeah. the times when you have spent with them or the times when you're like, oh, let me just go and pop and see my friend real quick or let mm -hmm. me just drive and go see my friend or go for a walk or yeah. whatever the case may be, have a little barbecue. Those little moments are yeah. so precious. So I'm really, really excited to just have that back and have that freedom back. Positive, mental attitudes. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining me for this little catch up. And I hope that everybody here also enjoyed our conversation but yeah <laughs> lovely speaking to you and i hope that you have a good evening you too lovely Mwah. lots of love bye, bye babe bye, see bye. ya